My name is Sam Bagnin. I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. Six cardinal and in the long term fatal sins plague the Wikipedia. What unites and underlies all, the, all Wikipedia's deficiencies is simple. Wikipedia dissembles about what it is and how it operates. It is a self-righteous confabulation, and its success in deceiving the many attests not only to the gullibility of the vast majority of netizens, but to the public relations savvy of its sleek and slick operators. The first thing is that the Wikipedia is opaque and encourages recklessness. The overwhelming majority of contributors to and editors of Wikipedia remain anonymous or pseudonymous throughout the process. Anyone can register. Members' screen names, handles mean nothing and lead nowhere. Thus, no one is forced to take responsibility for what he or she adds to the so-called encyclopedia or subtracts from it. This amounts to an impenetrable smokescreen. Identities can rarely be established, and evading the legal consequences of one's actions and omissions, that's easy. As the exposure of the confabulated professional biography of Wikipedia arbitrator S.J. in March 2007 demonstrates, some prominent editors and senior administrators probably claim fake credentials as well. A software tool developed and posted online in mid-2007, the Wikiscanner, unearthed tens of thousands of self-interested edits by contributors as diverse as the CIA, the Canadian government, and Disney. This followed in the wake of a spate of scandals involving biased and tainted edits by political staffers and pranksters. Everything in the Wikipedia can be, and frequently is, edited, rewritten and erased, and this includes the top pages, and even, to my utter amazement in some cases, the history pages. In other words, one cannot gain an impartial view of the editorial process by sifting through the top and history pages of articles. Most of these are typically monopolized by fiercely territorial editors who do not hesitate to amend them not, and to censor them. History, not unlike in certain authoritarian regimes, is being constantly rejected on Wikipedia. The second sin is that, the Wikipedia, that Wikipedia is anarchic, not democratic. The Wikipedia is not an experiment in online democracy, it is a form of pernicious anarchy. It espouses two misconceptions. One, that chaos can and does lead to the generation of artifacts with lasting value. And two, that knowledge is an emergent mass phenomenon. But Wikipedia is not conducive to the unfettered exchange of information and opinion that is a prerequisite of both A and B. It is a war zone where many fear to tread. Wikipedia is a negative filter. And this is the next point. Might is right is the editorial principle on Wikipedia. Lacking quality control by design, Wikipedia rewards quantity. The more one posts and interacts with others, the higher one's status, both informal and official. In, Wikipedia, in the Wikipedia planet, authority is a function of the number of edits, no matter how frivolous or correct. The more aggressive or even violent a member is, the more prone to flame, to bully and to harass, the more inclined to form coalitions with like-minded trolls, the less of a life he or she has outside the Wikipedia, the more these people are likely to end up being administrators. The result is erratic editing. Many entries are completely rewritten, not to say vandalized, with the arrival of new kids on the Wikipedia blog. Contrary to advertently fostered impressions, Wikipedia is not a cumulative process. Its text goes through dizzyingly rapid and oft-repeated cycles of destruction, and the initial contributions are at times far deeper and more comprehensive than the later so-called edited editions of the same. Wikipedia is misrepresented as an open source endeavor, and nothing can be further from the truth. Open source efforts such as Linux or uh, Firefox involve a group of last instance decision makers that coordinate, vet and cull the flow of suggestions, improvements, criticisms and offers from the public. Open source communities are hierarchical, not stochastic. Moreover, it is far easier to evaluate the quality of a given snippet of software code 
than it is to judge the truth content of an edit to an article, especially if this edit deals with soft and fuzzy topics. Where weighing of opinions and well-informed exercise of value judgments come into play, Wikipedia is sorely lacking. So Wikipedia is actually against real knowledge. Wikipedia's ethos is malignantly anti-elitist. Anti Experts are shunned, scorned, rebuffed, attacked and abused with official sanctions and blessing. Since everyone is assumed to be equally qualified to edit and contribute, no one is entitled to a privileged position by virtue of scholarship, academic credentials, or even life experience. Wikipedia is the epitome and reification of an ominous trend. Internet surfing came to replace research. Online eclecticism supplants scholarship. And trivia pass for erudition. Everyone's an instant scholar on Wikipedia. If you know how to use a search engine, you're an authority. Wikipedians boast that the articles in their encyclopedia are replete with citations and references. But <laughs> citations from which sources and references to which works, to which authors? Absent the relevant credentials and education, how can an editor in, on Wikipedia tell the difference between information and disinformation? Quackery and authoritative data. Fact and hearsay. Truth and confabulation. You have to know the difference between these things to be able to cite and reference properly. Knowledge is not comprised of lists of facts, factoids and rumors. But these facts, factoids and rumors are the bread and butter of Wikipedia. Real facts have to be verified, classified and arranged within a historical and cultural context. Wikipedia articles read like laundry lists of information gleaned from secondary sources. They invariably lack context and deep true understanding of the subject matter. These six sins render Wikipedia a blog. It is not an encyclopedia. It is a giant blog. When it presents itself as an encyclopedia, it misleads its audience, its visitors, and its readers. It misleads all of us intentionally. And that is why Wikipedia, in my view, qualifies to be labeled as a scam.